Hello, it's Simon here from Stillman's 3D. We've received quite a few messages through our Kickstarter campaign asking about our insert setting tip. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to show how easy it is. I was asked to print an enclosure for this by a colleague who needs it for another project. This is basically what we've came up with. It's a, quite an unusual shape, but it fits in with the rest of their project. Now the first thing we had to do was take the insert and we need to measure the lead-in on there. So as you can see, uh, oh, 6.3. We made the hole, pilot hole there, 6.4. So the actual insert fits nicely in there, ready to be pushed in. Now you can actually push an insert straight in without a pilot hole it'll basically displace the infill inside the model but obviously this is the better way of doing it you'll end up with a neater finish so we've got these in position i'll just get the tool up to temperature it's currently 195 which was being used for smoothing on another job so what i'll do is i'll take this up higher than we probably need, I'll take it up to about um, 250. We'll just give that a second. Okay. Right, okay, we're there. Right, so basically, you place the tip inside. Now you just have to wait a second for the for the heat to transfer there we go and it just starts going and we can keep it nice and straight because of the edges on the tip right just push that in a little bit further just so we're nice and below the edge okay we just do the same with the other one so again, it just takes a second for the heat to transfer into the inserts. And there we go. Oh, just put that one in just a little bit further to make sure it's flush. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'll put the circuit board in. We can now add the lid. And the great thing about threaded inserts is that once they're melted in, they're very firm, and you can actually tighten the screws fairly tight without them pulling out um, and also of course because there's now a metal thread they can be taken in and out as much as you need right, so there we go 